The United States has pledged assistance to Gombe State to improve its education and healthcare delivery. The U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Stuart Simington, disclosed this at a meeting with Governor Ibrahim Dankwabo in Gombe. TVC's Larry Adeyemi reports that Ambassador Simington is on a visit to the state along with senior officials of the U.S. Embassy, including a medical doctor from the Atlanta-based Center for Disease Control, the CDC. Gombe State has had its fair share of the humanitarian challenges in the Northeast, especially with the insurgency in the region that has led to the exodus of persons fleeing crisis prone area and its desire to solicit support from all national and international organizations, including diplomatic circles. At this meeting with the U.S. Ambassador, Governor Ibrahim Dankwambo is elated by the planned support and partnership of the U.S. government in the areas of education and healthcare, two priority areas for the administration. The biggest problem that we will have is the population growth. Not only in Gombe, but in Nigeria. The rate of population growth in Nigeria is more than the economic growth of the country. And in an equation, it's like these fingers. If this is economic growth, and this is, this is economic growth, this is population growth, and this is taller than this, this gap, to make it equal, this gap is poverty. The big point that I, I heard just now was this. The most important thing for the future of this state and of this nation and every nation is education. Explaining the challenges facing the state, Governor Don Quambo says his government has been able to meet the needs of the people based on available resources, but seeks more partnership. After visiting some key projects in Gombe Town, Ambassador Semington commended Governor Dan Quambo for his exemplary leadership. I saw a world-class road being built, and I saw some markets that were on that road, and I could tell that all of the farmers that lived near that great road were doing better because that road made it easier for them to get back and forth. The United States, through the ambassador, they are prepared and willing to collaborate with the state government to bring in investors and see, uh, and see so many ways within which they can invest uh, in uh, Gombe State. The influx of internally displaced persons from the five neighboring northeast states has put additional strain on Gombe State's infrastructure and partnership with embassies such as the United States and other national and international organizations would help to strengthen its resolve to offer more assistance to affected persons and communities. Larry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.